all like I said, nothing big to look at. It's just a basic plain Jane Chevy Colorado for right now. Picture it's six inches higher. That bumper's gone. Put the aftermarket bumper on there. I'm trying to get one from ARB. But uh, ARB, man, they're just slow. It's slow for them to get things to the market for some reason. I might have to do a Fab Fours. I hope the audio is working. Okay, I've got a few questions on this truck back here. It's the 2018 Chevy Colorado LT. It's the LT because I didn't want to spend uh, the money for a ZR2. When it turns out, I'm going to modify it anyway. I'm going to put bigger tires on it. I'm going to change the gear ratios. I'm going to change the suspension. Uh, you know what, just give me a base truck, something to work with, and that's why I got this one. It's a V6, it's got air conditioning, eight-speed auto. It's got four doors, so I've got plenty of room on the interior, basically for storage, okay? I added a shell. It's not one of those fancy fiberglass shells. This is a more of a commercial shell. And that's because I wanted something functional. I had a fiberglass shell on my Tacoma. And that made things very hard to access the back of the truck. What the heck is that? What do you want? What do you want? Do you want to be in my video? Come here. Come here. Can you guys see this? Who are you? Get this. All right, so never mind the chicken in the background here. Audio, 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 yeah. So, um, this truck's new to me, okay? So I bought it at the beginning of the year, and we're already in what? So I've only had it once. And, um, I've been able to get into it and take it apart and see what it look like. Um, trying to get parts for 2018. Huh? So, um, first thing I'd like to say, I got... I had to get custom brake lines for this lift kit. I don't have to get them, but if you watch my videos when I install this kit, it's kind of a, I would do it if you're doing any real off-roading. Because this is the factory lines are a little too short. Even with the brackets that come with the kit that lower them, um, you know, a little bit. They were tight, so um, I got all new brake lines. In order to do that, you can go to a custom place and like Hoseman or several other hydraulic hose specialists, and you can they'll make you custom brake lines, but you got to know what size the ends are. They don't know. I didn't know. I was like, what am I going to do here? So I had to go to Chevrolet and order a set to give them a sample. You know, here I need these six inches longer. Um, now after, get, get, after ordering these things, I was thinking uh, I should have ordered the rears a little longer because the rears kind of do this thing. So it's not a straight six inch, more like nine inches probably would have been a little better, but they're still going to work fine. So I was thinking, because I've had people question me about the new brake lines. You know, where'd I get them? Who sells them? Well, nobody sells them yet that I know of. Um, 
But if I get a few people interested in buying some of these and custom lengths, let me know and I'll have some made up. Just for you Colorado owners. Okay? Yeah. Help you out there. Because that's the brake lines. All right, so I've got extra parts laying around that I didn't use for this truck, like these fenders from Rough Country. Front and rear, with all the hardware and everything, instructions. I've been trying to sell them. People ask me about them, but nobody's made an offer. So, you know what? I want them out of here. They take up too much room. They're just like, they're going to get damaged or something. They're collecting dust. You know, the cobwebs are falling on them. So uh, I think I'm going give them away to whoever wants them. So they go like, uh, they go like that, but they're not made for this specific, uh, well, yeah, they do. Okay, so, yeah, so they go like that. I mean, I'm sure you've seen these fenders before. Bushwhacker makes a similar fender. Uh, I just, quit looking at me, chicken. Go away. I want to get rid of them. They're taking up room in my garage and I, I don't have the room. They're, they're just piling up here. Hey, stay outside. Chicken, 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 chicken. Come here. Come here. Get out of the garage. Come on. Hurry up. Come on. Let me see. Let me see. Come here. Okay, that was kind of weird. That chicken came over. He's gone already. He came over, ate a little bit, and took off. Went around the corner. Who knows where he went? I just went looking for him. He's gone now. Anyway, uh, what I've done today, just waiting for it to cool down. I opened up the bumper a little bit with some bigger, some more holes to get some more air down to this lower radiator. You know, the radiator goes from up there all the way down inside there and this front face plate on this bumper just blocks all that airflow so I cut these holes this was no fun these are three and a half inch holes and uh, yeah there's a lot of torque when you're cutting that big of a hole there it takes two hands but I got that done so I get a little more air Particularly on the highway, a little more air. I was thinking of cutting maybe two more holes up in here, maybe two inch, two inch holes or something. That wore me out. Uh, if you want to see my brake lines, uh, get a quick shot of the brake lines. These are the brake lines right there that I had made. probably what's that yeah this is a bump stop from Daystar this is a stinger bump stop you're gonna need something like this something anything's better than nothing uh, if you use a rough country uh, kit like I got on here I got a six inch kit did not come with the bump stops and then uh, yeah I got the Fox 2.5 race series uh, pretty pretty gnarly setup a little overkill but it's what would fit without spacer without a spacer kit it's what they got you know very nice very nice product uh, I stopped and got a beer earlier and there was some uh, wino hanging out in front of there you know pen handler and he's oh dude that's a badass truck, man. What do you got on the front there? What is that? Air shocks or something? Hydraulics? Yeah. Anyway, crazy ass people around here. Uh, what I need to do is wire my lights. So what I'm going to do is, uh, see I got the, the wiring harness just bundled up right there. I'm still waiting for my antenna mount. Serio makes a mount specifically to mount their antenna 
like that. But I can't find one on Amazon. I found one on eBay, but I'm having issues with eBay and my account. My account is uh, froze or something for some reason. So I can't order one, and it's coming all the way from England. Although we do have a Serio headquarters here in uh, Fremont, California. I sent them an email Friday. Let's see if they get back to me. I go, I need this part. So anyway, besides that, I got to run that wiring harness back to here, and I'm going to put it into this shell and then uh, put my switches and stuff in this compartment like uh, probably up high somewhere over here put relays and uh, a power feed coming off the battery now I'm trying to uh, figure out just what size lead I'm gonna run there do I run a big fat one or maybe minimum of four gauge. It's kind of what I've got left over for my last projects. Cause I also want to run my air compressor back here. Permanently mount the air compressor. And then power, a power tap, maybe run an inverter back in here too. So I can charge my batteries when I'm camping. And then I'd like to run an extra battery, an extra battery. So when I do go camping, I don't have to worry about draining. Yeah, about draining the truck battery. And then, uh-oh, how am I going to start this thing? Out in the middle of nowhere, there's no one to give you a jump. 